Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Anthony Morrison here. Hopefully, you are all having a phenomenal Thursday night. If you're having a great Thursday night, just go ahead and say yes down here in the chat box. All right, I'm seeing lots and lots and lots and lots of people saying yes. Awesome. Very, very cool. Wow, we have a lot of people on tonight. Very cool. Well, look, I plan to keep tonight a little bit short because, obviously, we're just a few days away from uh, from Christmas, so it is important to uh, to spend time with your family and friends and things like that. So um, we'll be on here for about you know, 30, 45 minutes tonight, probably a little bit shorter, but action-packed, lots of cool stuff. You might notice that the angle that I'm at is a little different. I actually bought a cool new desk. Watch this. Check this out. Do you see how I'm getting smaller? My head is getting cut off. And then it goes down. It's a desk that raises and lowers itself. And it's pretty cool. For those of us that sit at a desk all the time, um, I don't have my L shape anymore like I used to. Now it's just a much bigger desk moved over. So a little, uh, little different angle. Sometimes you may actually see me just standing up now. Um, that's very much a possibility. Uh, because it just gets so tired of sitting, you know what I mean? Um, it just, it's, um, it drives me nuts. But anyway, okay, well listen, what are we going to talk about tonight on the Success Connection? I won't spend a lot of time playing around and hanging out, although I know that a lot of you have seen we're testing some cool new Facebook Live stuff on my fan page. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that later on, but uh, our fan page domination students, we actually had a, a training, I think it was last weekend, um, where we talked a little bit about that, using Facebook Live to drive a lot of traffic. But today, what we really want to talk about is, um, and I've got a little agenda down here for you, um, we want to talk, first of all, about reviewing your funnel, okay? So uh, I've noticed inside of the Facebook group, there were some people that said, wait a minute, hold up, I can't find this page, or I can't find that page, or whatever. So we're going to go through reviewing your funnel real fast. Then we're going to go into some basic Facebook rules. Now, I told you that this is all about, this is like the done for you mecca, right, in December. This is like the awesome, you first got my, my entire funnel, right? Then you're getting all of my Facebook advertising notes, the stuff that I've been using right now to, and you, you all see my ads on Facebook. And then next week what we'll do is I'm going to outline for you the exact autoresponder sequence that I'm using right now to literally crush it with all the leads that I'm generating. Okay, so we've got a lot of different things that we're doing, but it's important that you're here live on each one. Now, I was uh, nice, and I left the link for the shared funnel um, working. The link will stop working after this week. Okay, so I'll put the link back on here. Uh, you'll see it right here. It says shared funnel access right there. Um, we will be taking this link. I'll put it back up tonight at the end of uh, at the end of the training, and then that link will be broken. Um, on Sunday night. So you have until Sunday night to, uh, to download your funnel. Uh, I did see a lot of people asking questions in the group saying, well, hey, can I download my funnel and then later on get ClickFunnels? No, it, it actually just downloads it right into ClickFunnels. So there's no, there's no way for me to give you this without you having ClickFunnels and you can't download it to have it for a later time. If you want to get ClickFunnels, we have a link for you right here. Um, you can get a free trial of ClickFunnels, and then you can go and click the shared funnel link, and boom, it'll install your funnel. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of breeze through the, uh, the, the, the shared funnel. If you don't already have yours or if you weren't with us last week, you haven't watched last week's replays, um, then you'll kind of get a, a glimpse into what we've, what we've put together and what we're giving you, right? And then once you, once you see that, you'll understand more why we're going to go through the Facebook advertising because the Facebook advertising is truly going to allow you to take this funnel and duplicate what I'm already doing, which I think is cool. Let me angle that a little more. Um, which is, is gonna, I'm going to show you what we optimize for, the downfalls to some of the things that we've done, the things that we've done that really haven't worked, right? Um, so we're going to give you a, a macro overview of that so that you can sit down and say, okay, what, because I can't tell you what to target because everybody's different. Some of you are in different countries. Some of you are promoting different things. But what I can tell you is what we're targeting, and I can tell you how we're coming, how we're thinking to create our ads, like what thought process I'm going through um, when I'm saying to myself, okay, I want to create some ads. I want to do some good. Does that make sense? Everybody just say yes, that makes sense. 
Very, very cool. So I see lots and lots of people saying yes. Awesome. Well, listen, like I said, we'll keep it a little short. I know it's a holiday, um, but you guys know every single uh, every single Thursday here, ready to rock, ready to roll, right? Okay, so with that said, let's take a quick look at the funnel. Okay, so if you've got the ClickFunnels funnel, okay, that I gave you guys last week, and for those of you that don't, you'll have another chance to download it tonight, all right? You will see that there are three pages over here on the left-hand side that says Funnel Steps. Step one is the free book opt-in. Okay. Step two is the thank you page. Step three are the Facebook images. So we'll go over those again in just a second. That's not really a funnel step. I just wanted to put it there so that you could visually see where to get your images. Now, if you go down in here, you'll notice that we have Do Not Use Template for Future Use. Thank you page template, do not use. The reason we put these in here is that you can duplicate, right? So you can literally go in, click on one of them, clone it, and then edit it for something else that you want to use. Okay, so you've got options here to not ever kind of get stuck once you've edited the first one with losing your template, right? So we put that there for you so you could easily duplicate it in the future. Now, the cool thing about ClickFunnels, some of you had asked me about this. Check this out. Do you see how ClickFunnels calculates the number of visitors that are in here? See, this says, um, you know, visitors, 32 visitors. If you look on this thank you page, okay, you will see that ClickFunnels calculates essentially what the conversion rate is. How many of these people on the free book page end up making it to the thank you page, and it'll tell you right here, contact conversion rates. This is, obviously, this is just a bunch of you guys playing around on my page, so you see that there's 22%. But if you look into my funnels, they're at 49 plus percent, right? So literally like 49% of the people that opt in or that hit the page actually opt in. So we've tested a very, very, very good opt-in process and a very good process in general for what we're doing. And in fact, what I want to do is I want to pull this up. So I'm going to give you some quick Facebook advertising notes, and we'll kind of go back and forth, back and forth, okay? All right. Things that you have to look at that are important. The first thing you want to look at is inside of, uh, let's see, inside of, let's see, inside of, click, funnels, okay? What do we need to look for? So what are our important things when we're doing Facebook advertising? And forgive me, I know I see, I already saw some of you guys were leaving me comments in the chat box saying it says it's syncing and all these weird things. My iPad doesn't know what day, what time. It just, when I plug it into this computer, it goes nuts. You notice I haven't used it? How many of you have noticed I haven't used it in the last few days? Or like, really like the last few weeks? Yeah, it's because it just wouldn't work. Like it just stopped connecting. So I had to do a little geek work on it, you know, trying to figure it out. Now we've got a good. All right, so in ClickFunnels, first thing we want to look for when we're doing Facebook ads, we want to look at what is our opt-in rate. This is the number one most important thing, okay? Because if you're getting people to this page and they're not opting in, then it doesn't really matter how good your Facebook ads are. It doesn't matter how targeted they are. It doesn't, nothing matters, right? This right here, it all starts, right? It all starts here. So make your notes for this, okay? And of course, we'll provide you with the PDF download as well. But the opt-in rate is the most important thing that you can look at when you look inside of ClickFunnels because if you are not getting a good opt-in rate, it is going to be hard to be successful. Now, in this example, what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about my funnel. Okay, so my funnel is at 49% opt-in. Okay, I would say if you're getting a way different opt-in rate, okay, so in other words, if your opt-in rate is super, super low, then you need to tweak something. So what do you tweak? How do you get this opt-in rate up? Anybody have any ideas? How would we get the opt-in rate up? So let's take a quick, quick look, okay? If we're looking here and we're going to look at this page, all right? So this is your opt-in page that I built for you, all right? What could we tweak on here to increase our opt-in rate? 
Okay, I see some I see some stuff coming in. We'll just we'll just make some notes. Okay, if it's low, what we want to do is we want to test. Okay, we want to test new copy. Okay, and really for the bullet points. All right, so like for the bullet point list. So you could change the bullet points. All right, so let's again take a look. You could change these bullet points right in here. Okay, this is We've talked about this. There's different types of people that go to these opt-in pages. There's different types of people that will look at this and they will instantly say, I want the free book. I want the free book, right? But then there's a lot of people that are going to take the time to read. The ones that take the time to read are the ones that you have to grab and get. The ones that instantly just see free, 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 and they just click the buttons, click the buttons, click the buttons because they want to download it, right? Those people... They're going to download it, they're going to click the button, and they're going to opt in, and it really doesn't matter, right? But if you want to legitimately, okay, increase your opt-in rate, you've got to focus on the details within this page. Now, I've written this page to what I think is going to convert at one of the highest rates, but that's not a guarantee. That doesn't mean for sure that you couldn't make it better, right? Um, after all, this is modeled after my funnel. But my funnel obviously has my picture on it right here. Um, so, and the name of the book is different, right? So it's a couple of little things that are different. So a couple of things that you may want to test, the bullet points. Another thing that I would test is I would always test what you put on these buttons, right? So it says, yes, give me free instant access. You may actually test, yes, let me download for free. So instead of free access, let me download for free. Does that make sense everybody? Just say yes. All right. I see a lot of people saying yes. So you want to test the copy, okay? Then you want to test new button copy, okay? Because the buttons, all right, can truly make a difference. What they say, what's perceived, when you say instant access, someone might feel like, okay, well, Maybe that means I've got to go somewhere. I've got to go into some members area for it. When you say download now, they think, okay, I can click this button. I can download this book. So two different types of people. One has a little higher perceived value. But the other one seems a little easier. So you can test these things, right? Super, 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 super simple. Click funnels. it takes three seconds to test it, right? So the opt-in page, very, very important. You want to be looking at what your contact conversion rate is. That's how many of these people are going to opt in and move through your funnel to this thank you page, okay? Very, very, very important. So I'm giving you the lessons on what to test right now so that once you start running Facebook ads or any kind of ads, you've got an idea of, okay, where can I improve my funnel? Where can I improve my stats? Where can I make more money from what I'm already doing? All right, so thank you page. Let's take a quick look at it. All right, so this is your thank you page that we have put up here for you, okay? now. Again, if you weren't here last week, uh, you should go back and watch last week's training because I'm not going to spend a ton of time literally saying the same thing I said last week, right? Um, that's why it's really important that you attend. But you can find last week's training inside of the, uh, the Success Connection members area. Again, on the thank you page, you've got bullet points. But here's the thing. On the thank you page, it's less important to test all of this up here because all of this up here, all that that I just highlighted, everything that's highlighted, the only reason that's there is to provide to them what you said you were going to provide to them. Okay, That's it. So you're either going to give them the free book or you're not. Putting the bullet points, changing the bullet points, changing the words, none of this matters because at the end of the day, you're providing that free book, but your goal is to get them to look at this. This is your goal down here. In the white space, this is where you profit. This is your thank you page profit center. Okay, so let's pull up. Uh, let's pull back up this. All right, so that is on. So first of all, all of this is click funnels, opt in rate, on and on and on. Now we want to talk about our thank you page. All right, thank you page notes. This is important stuff that I didn't really get a chance to go over last week. First thing, focus on the profit center. Okay, so focus on the profit center. Most important thing 
that you can do. Now, what can we test in this profit center? Let's take a quick look. All right. So what elements do we have here? Somebody put it in the chat box. What elements do we have here in the profit center? Okay, that's right. We have a video. We have a button. Yes, we do. We have a timer. That's true, too. All right. We have some words. Some people call it words. Some call it copy. But yes, we have some copy. All right, so yeah, we've got all these things. So let me, let me just give you an outline. This little part right here, you can quickly and easily edit. Okay, so you could change this to be whatever you want it to be almost within just seconds. So let me just tell you some of the things you should test right here, okay? And this is a great checklist that we didn't really make last week. It's going to be really good. So focus on the profit center. What are the things that we check? All right, first of all, it would be the headline copy slash offer. All right, let's take a quick look at what that means. That is this right here. That's your headline copy slash offer. This part of the page is designed specifically 110% to get attention. You want people when they load this page to visually see that they can download this book. But you want their eyes to instantly focus down here where it says special bonus. People love the word bonus. doesn't matter what niche you're in. They love the word bonus. Sorry, it's really hot in my house. It's crazy. It's cold outside, hot in my house. All right. So they want that people love bonuses. That's why you see me use the word special bonus here. It draws attention down. And down is where I'm going to make money. This is my profit center on this page. So this is the part I kind of want people to focus on. I don't really want them to focus on the free book at this point. Download it, but let's get focused and engaged on my bonus, right? Okay, so the first thing we, we, we focus on and we test is this copy right here. What can we do with that copy to get more people to focus and pay attention? The second element and the second thing that we will test, okay, is we want to test video versus no video versus an image. All right, now let me explain what that means. So video, no video, image. What that means is that with ClickFunnels, we could instantly, within a second, get rid of this, of this, uh, of this thing. Let me show you real fast what would happen. All right, let me just edit. I'm going to edit it. We've got this new editor with ClickFunnels, and I don't, I've never used it, so I'm not about to click on that yet. All right, so let's just look at this. We could take this video, all right, just like this, and watch what we could do. We could legitimately, we could just delete it. Watch. Now that element is gone. Now look at this. Now what we would have to do is, if we're not going to film a video and we're not going to tell people what the bonus is, we got to describe this bonus on the page. So you would have to do something like this. Like for us, um, it might be get your own email list today. All right. And then this might, instead of saying free instant access, this might say uh, yes. Might say yes. Please hook me up with my own email list now. All right. And then this might say bonus uh, 500 email subscribers. I'm just kind of making this up right now. And then you might say down here, hurry up, and you could just say your bonus will expire in. Boom. Okay, so look, what we're testing here is legitimately just no video. Like, there's not a whole lot there. It's special bonus, click here now. That's it. It's quick, fast, to the point, like focus, right? You can also insert an image there. So a lot of the products that you'll promote, especially if you're getting products off of JVZoo, ClickFunnels, other affiliate networks, a lot of those products that you'll promote, they have images. You could stick an image right here between the headline and between the button. So now you've got three different variants to test. Now I'll tell you right now, from my experience, videos work best. That's my own personal experience, and here's why. When somebody lands on this page right here, okay, the first thing that's going to happen is that video is going to start playing. I have it paused right now because obviously we're on GoToWebinar and I don't want to freeze up. 
But if I'm focused on this free offer up here, but I instantly start hearing something down here, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Everybody say in the chat, what am I going to do? That's right. I'm going to start looking down, right? When I start looking down, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, wait, what is this free bonus I'm getting right here, right? So this element is super important. If you don't want to film a video, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. What I would suggest, if you don't want to film a video, uh -oh, I would suggest that you just simply use Fiverr, right? And on Fiverr, you can have somebody film you a video for like five or 10 bucks. And they'll just grab their phone and say, hey, everybody, you get this free bonus, da, 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 da. And you just kind of write out what it is that you want to give them. Does that make sense to everybody? Just say yes if it makes sense. All right, so we're good on that. All right, so we've got that element. The third element is we have the button. And of course, the button text. All right, so let's take a quick look at that again. We've got this button right here. Again, sometimes the language on the buttons, like for instance, this says, yes, give me free instant access. If we change this to say, yes, give me uh, my 500 subscribers now, if you put the name of what the bonus is, so kind of like what it is that they're actually getting in the button, probably will convert at a higher rate, right? So if you notice on my actual funnel, it doesn't say give me free instant access. It just says give me free 500 subscribers or give me free this or free that. It's whatever it is that I'm actually giving away, right? So something to take note of, all right? Very, very important stuff. Then the third element, or the fourth element, I'm sorry, the fourth element, we'll go back up here. The fourth element, it's gonna be the timer. Now, I mentioned last week something that was very important. And that is that a lot of people will say, okay, Anthony, when you put a timer here, why don't you have a timer here? The reason I don't have a timer on this page is that Facebook has banned fake, what, what they call fake timers. The timers are built into ClickFunnels. You can put the timer on there. Um, you don't have to say, when this clock hits zero, you can never, ever get this again, right? So you don't have to, like, lie about it. But ClickFunnels allows you to put these timers on with the click of a button, right? Facebook does not like the timers. So what, I, what we've done is we, take, we don't put the timers on the first page, which is the page people go to for Facebook, which is why you don't see them on the template that I made you. But then on this page, we produce a little bit more of an urgency factor, right? So there's an urgency there to actually go ahead and take action. Now, how many of you feel like it's important if you create this urgency, that it be real urgency. Just say yes. Okay, well check this out. Watch this. I see a lot of people saying yes. If you were to go into ClickFunnels and click on your little timers right here, okay? All right, you click on your timers. Do you see where it says right here? It says expire action. If you click this and you click redirect to URL and you put in really any URL here, right, any website address. What will happen is, is when that timer hits zero, so when it actually clicks down to zero, the whole page will just redirect somewhere else. So legitimately, if you set this timer at, say, say your, your video is four minutes, okay? If you set the timer at four minutes and 30 seconds, four minutes and 30 seconds later, this page is gonna redirect somewhere else. How many of you see the power in that? A lot of people have seen this happening on my pages because I literally say you have four minutes and that's it. So what do people do? Here's what that does. It creates the perception, okay, which is reality, that when you say that they have four minutes to do something, they only have four minutes to do it. So what do they do? Most of the time, they'll go back, they'll opt back into your list, and they'll come and they'll click this button really fast and they'll be thankful that they got back to the button because you actually took it from them the first time. How many of you feel like people always want what it is that they now know they can't have? Just say yes. Exactly. That's the way it always works in life, right? So we create that, okay? We create that, that whole persona. We create that whole uh, opportunity there by using the tools that are inside of ClickFunnels already. So again, all you've got to do is click on expire action, click on redirect to URL, and then put this URL in, okay? 
How many of you are good with that so far? Just say yes. All right, I see lots and lots of people. Very, very good. And then the last thing that you have to test, the last thing is the profit offer. All right, that is what is it that you're going to promote? Now, let me talk to you about this real fast. Somebody made a comment to me. I can't remember if it was in the Success Connection group or if it was in an email. I'm not really sure. Uh, but a lady wrote me an email last week and said, listen, Anthony, you said for people to just promote a Facebook, I mean, promote a ClickBank offer and a JVZoo offer and da, da, da. And she said, you know, a lot of those offers are crappy offers. They're not good. They're, uh, they say you're going to get something that you never get. And no, 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 right? And she said, you know, how do we know which offers are good offers? How many of you thought that last week? Just say yes if you thought that. I'm going to turn my air on in my house real fast. It's hot. Um, okay. All right, so I see a couple of you actually said that you thought that. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to commit that next week, okay, I am going to give you a list. All right, so we'll put some here. Next week, Anthony's approved list of offers. Now, let's be clear on something, okay? Anthony does not know every offer on Facebook and every offer on, I'm sorry, every offer on ClickBank and JVZoo. I only know what it, you know the ones that I know. Um, so what I'll do is I will give you a list that I know are good offers. Most of the time as marketers, it is our responsibility to do due diligence. Meaning if you want to promote somebody's offer, you should look into, uh, into the offer. Watch the entire sales video. If they say something like, look, quick, this one pill cures cancer. Or there's, there's offers on there that say they cure blindness and they cure, I mean, okay, we already know that that's just stupid and ridiculous and we need to ignore that, right? But if there's an offer up there that says, you know, reduce the energy in your house using these solar methods or using these go green methods or whatever, okay, well, that is, seems pretty legit, right? Um, if there's somebody saying I can teach you how to do YouTube advertising, that sounds pretty legit. If there's somebody that says, uh, my super secret thumb drive that was lost, my boss lost it, and I found it, and it has all of his super secrets to making billions of dollars online, and you can have them for $7. Probably not something I would promote. How many of you feel like co sometimes common sense can prevail? Yes? Okay. So my advice to you is always pay attention to what you're promoting. Always read the, the, the sales copy. Always watch the video and try to see what it is that this person is, is saying. And if it's stuff that you agree with and stuff that you feel comfortable with, then it's probably okay to promote. If it's things that you disagree with and you don't really believe in, um, then probably shouldn't promote it for any amount of money, right? Um, one of the things that, that, I, that I always use is just kind of like my own internal gut, right, on, on these things. I'll look at it, and if it looks too good to be true and it seems kind of silly and ridiculous, I move on. But next week, I'll give you all a list of exactly the offers I think that would work, not only the ones that will, will work well, but also the ones that will convert well. Does that sound good? You say yes, that sounds good? Very good. I see lots and lots of people saying yes. And of course, it is important what you're looking for on this. You're looking for, basically, you want a high EP. C. Now, what is an EPC? Anybody know? All right, I see tons of people chiming in here now. That's right. It's earnings per click. You want a lot high earnings per click. What that means is that it's going to count every time somebody clicks on this little button right here. Okay, because this is going to go to your affiliate link. And every time somebody clicks it, it's going to register that. And what you want is a high average earnings per click. Everybody good with that? You say yes? Okay, so those are the methods that you can use to, to essentially test and tweak 
this template that I already gave. How many of you do not have this ClickFunnels template because you weren't here last week? Just say yes. All right, we probably have some new students, so that's okay. All right, well, listen. When we wrap up here tonight, I'm going to give you the access link. You will literally be able to download this for free, okay, provided you have a ClickFunnels account. And you'll be able to create this. Well, you'll have this page and this page 100% free, okay? I've already built this. My design team built it. My designer built it. Um, and it's, it's pretty awesome, actually. Um, and I think it's going to convert well and it's going to do well. But what we need to talk about now and what is super, super important is the Facebook advertising. Okay, so let's make a line and call it face book advertising. Notes. Now look, this is what I have learned, okay, in the last I would say probably four months of me running my ads on Facebook, okay? This is, what I, this is what I've learned. I am by no means the Facebook guru, okay? But I'm learning. And I, obviously, I, I know a good bit. I just don't, there's plenty of people that know more than me about this. But there's the things that I do know, okay? Number one, we have the type, and you want to write this down, okay? I'm going to give you the PDF of this. You'll get an email with it. It'll also be put in your members area, but write this down. All right, type of ad. All right, we have different types. We have video. Okay, so we have a video ad. All right, we have a page post. Okay, and we have what we call a link. We have a link ad. All right, now, does everybody know what the difference in those are? Just say, yes or no in the chat box if you do or you do not. Okay, so we have some people that are not 100% sure. So let me show you something real fast. Let's just go back to, uh, let's just go back around in here. We'll just, we'll just kind of look over around here. All right, so first of all, <laughs> look at this. What do you know? I've actually got an ad running and it's showing up. Okay, this is a page post ad right here. Do you see how big this image is? There's, so for your page post, let's, let me pull back up here, okay? All right, for your page post, you have dark post, okay? And then you have what we would probably just simply call a live post. Okay, dark posts don't show up on your page. Meaning, when you go to your fan page and you look, the post isn't there, okay? Nobody sees it. It only runs, and the only place anybody ever really sees it is right here inside of Facebook. That's in, in the news feed. That's where they're going to see it, okay? So, we have tried, like, a live post and dark post, and we have found that the dark posts do better 100% of the time, Okay? So essentially what you do is you create your ad and you just don't post it on your fan page. So that's number one. Now, there are also these ads that show up over here. Okay, now you can see like AT&T is showing up on mine right here. Okay, everybody see that? That's called a linked ad. The ads that are showing up over here on the side are called linked ads, okay? So the ads showing up on the side are called linked ads. So these ads, okay, these ads, show up on the sidebar. So they kind of show up on the sidebar, okay? Now, your video ads, okay, these video ads, they are going to show up in the news feed, okay? So they show up in the news feed. So page post ads, video ads, they're going to show up in that news feed where people are all engaged, right? Linked ads are going to show up off here on the side, all right? So that's the three different types of posts. Now, what are the pros and the cons, all right? Pros and the cons. Well, let's just take a look, first of all, at the linked ad, okay? Pros. I'm going to do the pros in green, all right? Pros. 
um, not as expensive. I have found that when we run a linked ad, we spend less money on those linked ads than we do on the other stuff. Now, that doesn't mean that we get our clicks and our conversions and all that at a higher rate. What I'm saying is to occupy that space costs less money. And I think it's because, um, it, well, let's just, let's go with the positives, not as expensive. We found that it has a high conversion rate. Okay, now why does it have a high conversion rate? Can anybody tell me why you might have a higher conversion rate on those that sit over here versus the ones in your news feed? When people click. That's right. The reason that you're going to see a higher conversion rate or that you can is that if I'm on Facebook right now, okay, and I'm scrolling down, da -da 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 -da, and I run into my ad like I did live here on the screen. I run into my ad and I see it right here. I'm looking at it and all of a sudden I decide I want to click on it. It can be a very impulsive click because there I am, there it is, I see it, I'm like, oh, free book, and I click it, right? Whereas these linked ads over here on the side, I've got to divert my attention away from the news feed. I've got to go from what I'm focused on over here, and I refocus. In other words, it's a more focused click, is what I've seen, on these linked ads than it is on the page post ads because, that are showing up in the news feed because a person has to truly go out of their way, in some sense of the word, to respond to one of these posts versus a page post. Does that make sense? Everybody say yes. Very good. See lots and lots of yeses coming in. Very, very good. Okay, but what are the cons? What are the cons? Mm. Not, as, uh, not as flexible with copy. I'll just write these down and I'll give you the answer. So not as flexible with copy, not as large uh, uh, like of uh, image, okay, and then typically a lower response rate. Okay, so how do we, how do we put all that together, okay? Let's go through here. So what did I say? I said, number one, it's not as flexible with the copy. So let's take a quick look. Do you see how with the page post that shows up right here, I get to write all this copy. Look, I can click this and I can write all this copy. I have all this real estate to tell you why you should respond to this ad. But on these page post ads, as you'll notice, you don't have all that real estate. You, you really don't have much real estate at all. You've got like one sentence, right? So you don't have as much flexibility with your, with your ability to cop, write copy, to write something that will tell somebody to click, right? Also, the images are smaller. Look how big this image is, okay? And it gets lost because there's so much white space on this ad. It just happened to show up. But there's so much space over here, big image. Look how much smaller this one is. So again, you have a smaller image you have less room to write copy, that's typically going to indicate, okay, a lower response rate, which means more people are going to respond to the page post ad than the linked ad. But the ones that do respond to a linked ad are typically a notch higher in quality. Does that make sense, everybody? Is that okay? You say yes? Okay. All right. So that's the linked ads. Now, what about our page post ads, provided we're doing them as dark posts, meaning we're not really sharing them on our fan page, we're just posting them. All right, let's put some pros in there. Pros, you can, like the, uh, the copy is very flexible. Okay, this copy is very flexible. The image is large. The response is very high. Okay, so you get higher response. All right, these are positives. So let's take a quick gander at those. Okay, let's just look through. What do I mean by that? Well, look, I mean that you've got lots of room to write copy. You've got a really big image. 
And because of that, and the fact that it's in a news feed, response rate goes up. You want to get tons of traffic? You use a page post ad. Okay? Now, you may get 100 visitors from page post, and let's just take, for example purposes, four of them convert. And you may get 100 people from a linked ad, and seven or eight of them convert. See what I'm saying? The linked ads are normally going to convert a little higher, but you're not going to get as much traffic, right? Uh, not going to get as many as many customers or as many people, eyeballs on your pages, on your opt-in pages. And when you're just giving away a free book, here's the thing. Since you're not trying to make a sale, you're trying to generate a lead, these page post ads work great because almost anything and everything will convert at a higher rate when you're giving it away for free. So if, in the case of this funnel that I have created for all of you, I have found my most success getting leads and building my email list has come right here from these page post ads. Okay, is that okay with everybody? Page post ads. Very good. Okay, now, we're not done. We've got to go through the negatives. Well, we should go through the negatives, but my, my pencil is not wanting to go through the negatives, so... As I said, always difficult with, uh, with Apple. All right, so we'll just kind of put a little dot here, and I will attempt to do it without the pencil. Okay, so if you've got these, if you've got so much better, I guess, I guess so much of a better position, meaning you've got all this opportunity right there, right? Do you think the cost is going to be higher? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be higher cost, much higher cost, because at the end of the day, there's more people fighting for that advertising space. There's more people that want access to that advertising space, so therefore it's going to cost more. Let me see if my pencil might just be, uh, battery might be dead. We'll put it on this little charger here for a second. We'll see if it charges up. Who knows? All right, so higher cost, right? So you have to take that into consideration. What ends up, what I've seen happen, is it all kind of evens out. This costs a little more, but I get a higher response. This over here costs a little less, but I get a lower response, right? But these people convert at a higher rate, and these people convert at a lower rate, and in the end, they both work. That's why you see that I have ads in both places. Now, something interesting about the video ads, though, okay? Very, very interesting. I'll just bring this down. Okay, video ads. The video ads are going to show up in the news feed, meaning they show up right here. You see your video ads showing up literally right here in the news feed, just like you do a page post ad. Okay? So that's one thing that, that you would obviously want to You don't run video ads on the side of the screen. Okay. So what have I found with video ads? Positives. Massive. Response. Massive response. Meaning, we get so many more people pressing the like button, the share button, all of that stuff that we get a viral effect. Okay? Viral. That is key. Because viral means free traffic. Now, you've got to pay attention to this, because this is something that most people don't really pay attention to on Facebook. We should highlight this, okay? Most people don't pay attention to this on Facebook. For everybody that hits this like and share button right here, they are re-advertising my ad for me for free. It's not even costing me anything. Facebook, I'm going to pay to see a lot of people, right? I'm going to pay to get this ad in front of people, but if there's people liking it and sharing it, I'm going to get far more reach, and I'm going to get it for free. I'm not even going to have to spend the money to do it, right? How many of you think that's smart? Just say yes. Okay, well, this is the reason why when you advertise in the news feed, you get a higher response with less money spent. Because if you put an image ad in here, like the one you see right here, and you see this one has 637 likes and shares and all that stuff, or 637 likes and 209 shares. 
what I have found is that you get so much free traffic from them, right? That when you're just trying to build your email list, it is insanely easy. But when you use a video, you get even more response, even more likes and shares because it's more engaging. More likes and shares means more free traffic. More free traffic means much better return on investment. How many of you would agree with me on this? Yes? All right, so we're all kind of on the same page. Now, the only real con that I can see to a video, okay, the only con that I can see to a video, okay, and there, there are a couple. Con is, you know, it takes time. Like time to produce. Meaning, you may not have a video right now that's ready to produce. In other words, you may not be able to just say, oh, I'm going to put a video on there, right? So, here's what I did. I'm going to give you my path, okay? So, this is my path. This is what I did. Day one, I did page post. And I did linked ads, or linked ads, whatever you want to call them. Okay. What was my strategy? I wanted to optimize and make these work. After I got those working, I went on. Let's see. Let's see. I did video ads. Video ads. So the video ads came after I did the page post ads and I did the linked ads. I did it this way because here's the thing. If you can make a page post ad work, Okay, so if you can make a page post ad work and you can make a linked ad work, okay, so if you can make these work, chances are your video ad is going to work because the video ad is going to get even more exposure because of the free viral likes and shares. So I would do, if I were you, I would start off with just page posts and, like that, and linked ads, right? Well, of course, we built all those in for you, right? So if you look, we've got those built in here for you. When you go to your uh, email profits here, let me just leave this, and uh, we don't need to save any of those. If you go here to these Facebook images, we built these Facebook images for you, okay? So you can see, you can download these. Again, this is where I'm showing you, see how much smaller this image? It's almost two of these linked ad images to equal one of the sizes of a page post ad, right? So I would start with running a page post ad and some linked ads. Once those are working, then you've got a funnel. You've got a real business. If you're generating traffic, building a list, you've got a real business. Now you can go get a video made. You can either hire somebody to do it off Fiverr. You don't have to do it yourself. Um, or you can do them yourself, right? It's, it's really just not that hard. Facebook, one of the things, and I'm going to give you just a couple of tips here on video ads, okay? These are, these are tips that we've found. When you do video ads, Native advertising works better. So here's what that means. That means when I grab, you know, uh, my uh, my phone like this, and I go around like this, and I'm talking about, you know, all kinds of cool stuff, and I say, hey, by the way, don't forget to download download my book today. Check out my Christmas tree, all this stuff. When I'm doing that, and I put that on Facebook, and I run that as an ad, more people will watch it because they don't see that it's an ad. Like they're looking at it, but they don't know that it's an ad until they've gotten into the video and then they're like, oh, it's an ad. Well, by that time I've captured some attention. Versus I did some ads in my studio. So I've got this massive studio here. I can make these awesome things. I can do all these cool little backgrounds. There's videos of me where these books that you see right here on the screen are behind me and I can literally pop my hand back and the book disappears and it comes back. All these cool effects, right? The fact of the matter is, that's not working. Like, that's not working as well on Facebook as literally an iPhone video of me just driving around in my car talking. And it's because when you're on Facebook, 
you want to capture attention with native advertising, with advertising that looks like it's not advertising. It looks like it's literally just somebody made a video driving in a car, and now you're like, oh, what is that all about? And you watch it, and because you've watched it, now you're hooked on it, right? Does that make sense to everybody to say yes if it does? Okay, and you'll see a lot of other people doing it that way. Um, the ones that are doing just straight up like, here is an ad, let me you know, click this button right now type stuff with videos, don't seem to be working quite as well, okay? So with video ads, you know, don't be super professional. Just do real life, okay? Just do you. That's what I try to tell people. Most important thing with advertising on Facebook is just do you, okay? Now, I want you to look at my screen. Let's see if I can't zoom it in. All right, let's see. I can see how big the screen gets. All right. I want you to all take a picture of this. If you don't take a picture of it, make sure that when I send you this replay that you focus on this part. We have had massive success using this strategy. Look at this. We put get your free book twice in the link. Here's why we do it. Because A, you never know how much of the copy someone can see. Like if they're on their phone or big phone, a small phone, you don't know at what point is Facebook going to make them click the see more button, right? Also, it's a pattern interrupt. There's hardly anybody doing this and the ones that are doing it have copied it from us, right? When you see it, like it's duplicate content. I mean, look at it. What stands out in my ad to you right now? What stands out? It's that center section there because it's like, it's like nothing changes, right? When you look at the screen and you see this ad, you see just get your free book and you see this link and it's because it doesn't blend in. It's not like laced into a paragraph and all this stuff. It's literally sticking out at you because it's duplicated. Right? And again, this is playing a trick on psychology. It's playing a trick on what your eyes see, what your brain perceives. What we are trying to do is make you honestly not really read anything. You're just seeing, get your free book and having the link there. Right? Awesome strategy. And you'll see that not everybody does this. In fact, there's a lot of people that don't do this. We'll see if there's any, um, if there happens to be any ads that I can find on here. I'm not really sure if there are or if there aren't. Okay, so here's one from amazing.com. Notice that there's not even actually a link to click, right? You have to like click down here to do it. It's not something that, that's just not how we would do it, right? Um, I don't know if I'll see, if we'll be lucky enough to see any more specific ads. <laughs> Here's another one from me, right? Um, and you can see, like when I tell you we've tested things, look at this. Do you see how I don't have the links here? You ever see that? I don't have the links. The reason I don't have the links is because we're testing back and, and I'm telling you, like we actually test this stuff. I don't just make it up. Like we test it. Here's the same thing, but with this, we did not put the links at the top. And we have found that those don't get as high a rate. They don't get as high a rate of response, right? So you'll see that there's a lot of advertisers. There's a lot of people that advertise on Facebook, obviously. Here's another one. You'll notice, watch, you'll notice with this one, you've got to click to see more, you've got to read an awful lot, and there's only one specific link down here, right? So this would be how most people do it. We're just testing different strategies, and what we've seen work best, I'm not saying that what they're doing is wrong, what I'm saying is that what we have seen work best is that when somebody sees this, boom, it stands out. Free book, and all they see is the links to download it. So everybody with me on that, just say yes. Very, very good. This is the copywriting skills for ads that have generated sometimes double to triple the response rate, like two to three times more people clicking our link because of this right here. And another strategy, something that I would, I would recommend that you pay close attention to is do you see the links? We use a build redirects link on there. But if you notice, we end it with free book. It says free book in the link. Again, super, super important because it's a psychology thing, right? It's, okay, wait, so the book is free? And look, oh, wait, so the book is free. Look how many times it says free book in here. Look, free book, one, free book, two, free book, three, free book, four, free book, 
five, free book six. Six times in one spot, we make sure that if they look anywhere on this, this ad, that it's telling them the book is free, right? Can, can all of you see how that would make more sense? Like that would get a higher rate of response. That would make you more successful if no matter where a person looks at this ad, they're seeing that there's a free book. They don't have to read 14 paragraphs of information to figure out that it's free, right? This is lead generation, okay? Lead generation, and it's super, super important to just get people to respond, get them to your page, and they will convert. It really does convert. I'll show you. I mean, because some people will say, well, Anthony, yeah, but you're getting a lot of people to click, but I don't play. Well, probably people aren't even really responding. Well, I would say to you, no, that's not true, and I'll show you how I know. Because we have pages in here. I think this is the page. Um, look, actually, our opt-in rate is 56%. I'm sorry, I told you it was 49%. There it is. It's 56% in the last 30 days. So 56% is a pretty good, how many of you think that's pretty good? Over half of the people are opting in. That's a huge opt-in rate, right? But the reason that our opt-in rate is so high is it's just constantly we are focused on making sure we get people's attention and we get them to accept the fact that what we're doing is free. Make sense to everybody? Very, very good, very, very good. So how many of you feel like, how many of you feel like that so far tonight you have gotten some really good value out of the Facebook advertising itself? Just say yes. If you feel like you've gotten good Facebook advertising value, very good, very good. So the reason that I wanted to, and I can probably delete this, the reason I wanted to keep tonight short and kind of on focus is that next week what I want to do is I want to go through my actual, I'm going to log into my Facebook account and show you some of the actual ads that, well, of course, you just saw them. I was going to go into it, but you, they literally were running on Facebook. I don't even really have to go in there. Um, but I want to, to show you the trends. What time of day are we seeing the most response, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is make you like a little cheat sheet, and you'll get it next week right here, and I'm only going to do it live. In fact, I really will break the link if you're not here live, because that's something that truly will be distributed everywhere, right? I always get soft on the funnels and stuff, but I'm not going to get soft on that, uh, because that's literally my own testing notes, probably most of which is right back there. Um, for, from, and I've got another whiteboard over there from our test. So I'm going to give you this cheat sheet that will allow you to see what I'm seeing, is converting the best, like what time of day, what day of the week, those kinds of things. So if you want to be laser focused with your with your initial ads, you could literally say, Facebook, only run my ads at 7 o'clock on Tuesday nights because that's when I'm seeing that they're crushing. And since you're promoting something very similar, it kind of makes sense, right? So next week we'll do that. We will also log into my autoresponder. And I am going to outline for you in detail my autoresponder sequence so that you will see that when you build this, this email list, exactly what's pumping out. So next week, autoresponder sequence, you'll get my cheat sheet for the Facebook ads, what's converting at the right time, at the right moment, and can anybody else say what else we're gonna get next week? Keep, keep it coming. What else were we gonna do? I said I was gonna give you the autoresponder, or we were gonna go through my autoresponder. I was gonna give you the cheat sheet, Right, for the Facebook ads. And it's so funny because everybody's putting in the chat box. Well, I'll tell you what, tell you what, here's what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do tonight's giveaway. Okay, this is how we're going to do tonight's giveaway. I want you to go to my Facebook fan page, and you don't have to, you can pick any post. Doesn't matter what it is, which post it is. I would probably suggest posting on the one that's at the very top. And I want you to list the three things that you're going to get next week. It's the cheat sheet. You're also going to get, well, it's the Facebook ads cheat sheet. We're also going to go over autoresponders. Okay, so we're going to go through the autoresponders. There was something else that I told you I was going to hook you up with next week, and I want you to put it on my Facebook page. You can list all three of them. List all three. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do is when we sign off tonight, I'm going to go on. I'm going to read through. I'm just going to randomly find somebody that listed all three correctly and I'm going to hook you up with the $100 cash prize because rather than spending 45 minutes going through Facebook right now where it's probably going to freeze up and it's probably going to lock up and all the stuff that it normally does, um, I figure I would just do that because I know it's a holiday and I don't want to spend a ton of time 
keeping you on here while everybody leaves comments on Facebook. So go leave comments on Facebook. I will announce our winner right there on Facebook here in the next few minutes when we hop off. And for those of you that want the funnel access, okay, it's right here. Well, all right, this is your funnel access right here, okay? So funnel access is this right here. If you go to this link, you can download that entire ClickFunnels funnel and you get it for free, okay? If you go to this link, you can actually download ClickFunnels, or not download it, but you know, purchase ClickFunnels and have, the, have a ClickFunnels account so that you can use it, all right? So I think I just had a little bit possibly of an issue with my webcam, so uh, forgive me, like I said, my internet is not the best in the world. So with that said, everybody, listen, what I want to do is I want to thank you all for being here. If you see me frozen on the screen, I don't know what you actually see on the screen right now, if it's frozen or not, I'm not really sure. Um, I always seem to have some kind of little internet crazy issues, So, uh, but it looks like everything is good. I think just my computer that was running my uh, Running my webcam is gone. <laughs> oh, you got it. It's literally like frozen up. So anyway, all right. So all you got to do is go to this link, get your ClickFunnels account. Go to this link, get your funnel, okay? Get your, uh, get your actual funnel from ClickFunnels. This is from me to you for free. Listen, everybody, I want to thank you so much for being here. I know it's a holiday. I know it's time away from your family and friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the time we've spent together. I have. And I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you all have a happy holiday. Spend time with your family, with your friends, and enjoy yourselves this weekend. But come back ready to learn and ready to kickstart next year with our Success Connection next Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as always. I will be announcing our cash prize winners on Facebook here in the next few minutes. So go there now. Here's all my links. If you follow me on all these things, you're going to be able to get awesome cash prizes every single week. We're doing crazy stuff. In the Facebook group, it's super, super important that you join that. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, go there now. This is the URL right here on the screen. When you go there, I'll make sure to get you approved because I'll be on here for the next 15, 20 minutes looking at comments, announcing our cash prize winner, and, of course, approving you guys into the group. Listen, thank you so much. Have a safe weekend, a fun weekend. Enjoy your family and friends. Enjoy the holiday. And I look forward to seeing you all right here next week on the Success Connection. Talk soon, everybody.